In this video, I want to look at seeing if we can find an expression for the inverse of a product of matrices. So if I've got two non-singular matrices, A and B, and I want to find the inverse of those two matrices, is there an easy way of doing that? OK, so that's the concept. So the idea then is that there is this matrix X, which will be this inverse, OK? And I want to work out what X is. So when I have X and I've applied X after I've applied A, B, OK? So I've applied, applied A, B first, and then I apply X, that must get me the identity matrix, OK? Because X inverts A, B. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to work with this equation. And if I then post-multiply uh, the inverse matrix of B, and remember, B is non-singular, so that exists, I can write this as X... Well, I can write that first as XAB, so it doesn't matter if I remove the brackets first, because we understand that that won't make a difference. So then if I apply B minus 1, OK, I get this. Now, we recognise that B, B minus 1 must, in this, as we have seen from the previous video on uniqueness, must be the identity matrix. OK, so I know that that's the identity matrix. So I just get left with XA. If I apply the identity matrix with the inverse matrix of B, that will just be B minus 1, the inverse matrix of B. OK. I'm now going to apply, uh, post-multiply, the inverse matrix of A as well. So let's do that. OK, so I'm multiplying both sides by the uh, inverse matrix for A. On the left-hand side, we've got the A, A minus 1, which you know is the identity matrix. And so we have that X must be inverse matrix of B times inverse matrix of A. And so the inverse of a product of matrices is actually this, B minus 1, A minus 1. And this makes sense because remember the order in which you are doing things here, OK? If you've got A, B, then you are doing B first and then A. Remember, it works from right to left. So if you do B first, so you've done B, OK? then you do A. In order to reverse the process, I need to untangle what A has done, and then I need to untangle what B has done. And that's why it's this way round. Because the A minus 1 is on the right-hand side, you're untangling A first, and then untangling B. So a consequence of this, you know, if you wanted to extend it, if you had a, b, c to the minus 1, you would have to do it this way round. OK? You've done c first, then b, then a. To untangle it, you've got to untangle a, untangle b, then untangle c. OK? And that's why that could be an extension going on to a product of three matrices.